So the space probe New Horizons did a uh, flyby of the dwarf planet Pluto on Tuesday. And already, we've learned some pretty amazing things. Now, um, the first zoomed-in image of Pluto was released on Wednesday, a day after the spacecraft made its closest blast to the planet. Now, it was traveling at about 7,700 miles over the surface of the planet, or of, I'm sorry, of the dwarf planet. Now, there's a little bit of a debate raging whether or not Pluto's a planet. I'm not going to get into that. So, we're just going to call it Pluto, okay? So, it found... And by the way, this probe traveled 3.6 billion miles to get here to, in order to take pictures to send back. And in some of the pictures, I mean, which are, by the way, are fucking amazing. You should go check those out. In some of the pictures, it found something interesting. It found mountains. And not just mountains, but big ones. Now, before this... A lot of scientists, a lot of researchers didn't think that, that there were mountains on Pluto. So they were actually really surprised. Now, according to John Spencer, who's a planetary scientist on this mission, he says of these mountains, they would stand up respectively against the Rocky Mountains. And he also says that the mountains aren't just important just because they're mountains, right? It's just because they didn't think that there would be mountains on Pluto, but how big they are. The height of the mountains, he says, would be important because it's a clue that there may be water on Pluto. Now, scientists know that Pluto's surface is covered with nitrogen ice, methane ice, and carbon monoxide ice. But Mr. Spencer says, you can't make mountains that big out of those different kinds of ices. It's too soft. So what can make giant ice mountains? water water ice like we have on earth now he says the steep topography means that the bedrock that makes those mountains must be made out of h2o or water ice we can be very sure that the water is there in great abundance awesome now along with finding uh mountains and water ice or the ability uh possibly even I mean, th there could be an ocean under there. We don't know, right? But there certainly is a lot of ice, a lot of water ice that makes up these mountains. In addition to that, there's also the lack of something else, another surface feature on Pluto that's actually really surprising scientists. And the fact, it, 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 this, is, this is craters. Or I should say the lack of craters, the lack of visible impact craters. Now, the New Horizons team expected that the surface of Pluto would have been pockmarked with craters. But they didn't find that. And this is surprising to them because Pluto is pretty close to the Kuiper Belt, which, of course, has lots and lots of asteroids, lots of giant rocks and ice and everything like that. And so they would expect a planet that's pretty close to the Kuiper Belt to be hit by all these objects. Now, it, it, they probably have been hit. But the absence of craters means that there's something else. It means that the surface of Pluto itself is actually fairly young, at least in geologic terms. They estimate that it's less than 100 million years old, which I said, it's a small amount of time when it comes to geologic terms. That's fascinating. Young surface. So... I mean, what could that be an indicator of? It could be an in indicator of volcanism, migrating ice, or even latent heat from an internal ocean that's under the ice. These are really fascinating results. And we're only going to learn more. There's going to be a lot more information coming out uh, on Pluto. And what's interesting about it, since it's so far away, remember, it's 3.6 billion miles from Earth, it's going to take 16 months to download a week's worth of data for it to, to get from there to here, to download it. They say the speeds are estimated to be slower than a 56K modem. That's pretty bad. But also, it's going to be very interesting as the data continues to go in, to come in, 
what we're going to learn from it. Science is awesome.